Hey guys, how's it going? Powin here and welcome back to my channel. It is awesome to have you guys here today. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing something very, very special from Acuity Instruments. So as the title says, what I'm unboxing today may potentially be the best cable linkage shifter available on the market for 10th gen Honda Civics. But what I have in this box is essentially what is the final prototype. Now by final prototype, I mean that this is the closest thing to the final full production shifter. What's left with these prototypes is essentially me along with a select couple individuals installing these into our cars so that when we drive them for a little bit, we can provide Russell from Acuity Instruments valuable feedback data in order to make any minor adjustments in the design so that when the final production comes, you guys have the best final product. Okay, so before I actually unbox this, I kind of want to be transparent about my relationship with Acuity. So I'm their lead videographer right now. So essentially what that means is I create video content for their Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well. Now I started out last year pretty much just doing a review and install for some of the parts that I had purchased from the company. but. As I did more and more videos, they slowly started uh, trusting me with prototype testing, installing the prototype parts and, and pretty much giving valuable feedback to them, as well as now what I'm doing, which is essentially full-fledged videography for all of their products. So as awesome as my position is with the company right now, I can't exactly give you guys unbiased reviews on these products anymore. However, my direct involvement can provide you guys with the first exposure on a lot of these parts. I can provide you guys my first impressions on the parts, as well as provide the details in terms of what to expect as a performance upgrade when you install these parts. So with all that cleared out of the way, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I forgot to mention this earlier, but basically the box that I'm cutting open right now is not the final packaging that you will see with these shifters. God, this looks amazing. I love that black powder coated finish on the aluminum. Okay, so there's one more part here, I believe. Yeah, this is the offset and the upper rod that connects to the actual shift knob. And on the bottom of the bag, stapled to it, is the four bolts that are gonna actually fasten the shifter assembly to the chassis of the car. Okay, so now that I got the shifter out of the box, time to clean up the mess that I made in this kitchen, pull it out of the bag, put all the pieces together, and then show you guys exactly all the cool features of this shifter assembly. Okay guys, so I got the shifter assembly put together. It was as easy as just bolting this top offset section to the pivot point of the shifter arm. Um, you can clearly see that if I move it side to side, the rocker arm will then move as such. And then moving it forward and back, you can see the bottom section of the shifter arm move forward and back. I absolutely am amazed by the way this thing looks. It is an absolute shame that it's gonna be hiding under the center console. So besides the robust build quality that this shifter seems to have, the coolest features are the following four adjustments that you can make to really tailor the shifter to your own driving style. As I was putting this shifter assembly together, if you guys didn't notice, I already went ahead and made all the adjustments necessary to provide what I think would be the shortest shift settings. Now, in addition to the etched hardware specs on the actual black aluminum frame, each of the individual adjustable components also have their own markings to show you guys the safe range of adjustment on these parts. Now, to quickly go over the first adjustment, I first started out with the height of the knob. So all I did was take a four millimeter hex head socket, loosen the screw on the side here in order to adjust this upper rod up and down. And I had set the actual shift knob height to the one etched on the side right here. Now the next setting that you can adjust is the actual clocking of this actual shift knob. Now by loosening the same bolt that secured this offset, you can actually clock it in any direction you want. Now again, there's a safe zone that Acuity recommends uh, for this positioning, but really I think it's really nice to be able to slightly adjust the shift knob to be a little bit closer to you or a little bit closer to the steering wheel to really tailor that distance from when you let go of your steering wheel uh, and then reach for the shift knob. Okay, so moving to the bottom rod section of the shift arm, this is the throw adjustment. All you gotta do is just loosen this five millimeter hex screw right here, and then that allows you to really adjust it up or down. Now you wanna move it down in order to reduce the throw of your shift, and then move it up in order to get it closer to a stock throw. 
Okay, so moving on to the final adjustment. If you look at the spot where the actual uh, gate spacing cable connects to, the connecting point can actually be loosened by a socket. And just like with the throw adjustment, this will allow you to decrease the side to side movement of the shifter arm by moving it further down. And if you want it closer to stock, you just simply move it further up. So on the topic of the rocker arm, uh, QD also provided their upgraded centering spring in order to kind of stiffen up the side to side movement a little bit. And they also seem to improve uh, how the actual spring rests on the unit because as I'm just moving this side to side, I feel absolutely no play, which is astounding. All right guys, so now that I've pretty much explained all that I know on the shifter assembly, it is time to move forward to tomorrow where I'll be installing this into my car and then further provide you guys with my first impressions on how this performs. Okay guys, so I got the entire center console removed right here. So you can see the stock plastic shifter housing that's bolted down by these Acuity base bushings here. You can see the existing shifter extender I've installed, the rocker arm, the centering spring, and even the shifter fix that we've done previously to this entire shifter assembly. So overall, the parts from Acuity Instruments provided a nice crisp shift reducing the travel distance of the shifter in both forward and back and side to side directions. And the centering spring also stiffened up the gate selection side to side as well. So basically all these acuity parts have made the best out of this stock shifter assembly, but now it's time to really upgrade this entire shifter unit as a whole. All right guys, so I finally got the shifter installed. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Yo! That's, that's even shorter than the extender that I already put on and that's only at like the middle setting. All right, let's try the side to side movement. Oh, there's like no play. That centering spring is also very, very firm. So that clicking sound that I've talked about in a previous video on the Acuity channel, that's, that's completely gone now. I can't even see that bushing move a millimeter. I'm gonna try one more thing and that is actually adjust everything to the shortest setting. All right guys, so now I have everything adjusted to the shortest setting possible. So the shortest knob height, the shortest throw, and the shortest uh, gate spacing as well. So let's see how that feels. <laughs> that that is that is insane. Side to side. Wow. It's actually just a little bit difficult to distinguish between the gates now because it's just so narrow. All right, guys. So I'm extremely excited to put this all back together so that I can actually take this car uh, on my commute to and from work for the rest of the week. Uh, I typically drive a thousand miles or so every week, so that should be plenty, plenty of driving to really put this shifter through the paces. So I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right guys, so it's been about two weeks or so. I've put about 1,500, 2,000 miles on this prototype shifter now uh, since its install. And I can tell you guys within the first couple days, I've already noticed a drastic improvement. Like it's, it's beyond better than the stock. Uh, shifter assembly itself and honestly it's a day night difference in comparison to the existing stage 2 upgrades that I had two weeks ago installed on this car. So if you are an enthusiast that is looking for a budget friendly upgrade for your shifter assembly, the stage 2 kit is still appealing to you. It's going to upgrade various components that are plastic in the stock assembly, it's going to upgrade the rubber bushings, it's going to upgrade the centering spring to kind of all together enhance the overall feel of the shifter assembly. Now, if you are an enthusiast that is looking to put your 10th gen on the track, or maybe you're going to be doing an aggressive street build on the car, this full shifter now is definitely the most appealing option for you. With all these adjustable points, you're going to be able to really custom tailor this shifter and how it feels to your personal driving style. Now, another thing I noticed that is excellent now is the actual gate selection. Moving the shifter side to side just feels so rigid. There's nothing that feels like it's flexing. This thing just shifts so nice and it's so mechanically satisfying. But that being said, let's just go for a test drive so that I can really highlight my favorite things about this shifter. With how rigid this shifter feels now, I am so confident shifting into any gear. Like, it's 
just so darn firm. Because I have the shifter on the shortest settings, it does require more effort um, than the stage two upgrades uh, to shift now. I'm gonna do a quick downshift from fourth to third to second. Everything is just, ah, oh my God. It's so hard to describe because I really wish you guys could just sit here with me and just feel the way this thing shifts. Seriously, I didn't think that there was much more to improve from the Stage 2 kit, but the way this thing feels now is literally like a race car transmission. I just have so much trust in shifting now that everything is going to go into gear. It took a little bit of time to adjust to the actual gate spacing because it was very narrow, but once you get used to it, I only have good things to say about this. Pro props to the Acuity team here because I don't want to shame the E36 at all, but this thing shifts better than my E36 now and that's that's really sad to say. Acuity, can you please make parts of my BMW? Please? This thing is so freaking badass. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and also throw a comment below and tell me what you think about this shifter assembly. I want to extend a huge thank you again to Acuity Instruments for giving me the opportunity to really work on the shifter and produce all the content around it. It's been a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and also check me out on social media like Instagram and Facebook to stay more up to date with all my projects. Again, my name is Pound Song and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.